your smartphone could have run NASA's moon missions and still had battery left for videos. In 1956, IBM launched a computer the size of a room. It could do a few thousand calculations per second. Today, your phone does billions while fitting in your pocket. The Apollo moon lander ran on a processor slower than a modern toaster, yet it got humans to the moon. Now, gaming GPUs crunch trillions of operations per second, powering AI, simulations, and real-time graphics. Here's the kicker. Speed isn't just about raw numbers. It's about scale. In 1993, the fastest supercomputer hit 60 gigaflops. In 2025, we've crossed one exaflop. That's a billion billion calculations per second. It's like comparing a bicycle to a rocket. And Moore's law? It's bending. Chips are stacking vertically. Quantum bits are entering the chat. Share this with someone who thinks their old laptop is still fast.